Welcome to the ProBlox and ProBlox D termination instructional video. BTX's patented ProBlox and ProBlox D all-in-one connector system is the AV industry's first solution to incorporate multiple data, HD video, audio, and control signals in a single connector. In this video, you will learn how to terminate the coaxial video contacts, the audio slash control contacts, and the RJ45 connectors for the ProBlox and ProBlox D connectors. Here are a few important factors you need to consider prior to termination. The ProBlox hood features two cable exits, the straight exit which is out of the back of the hood and the 90 degree side exit which is out of the bottom of the hood. You need to determine the hood exit as it may affect the length you cut your individual conductors. Pin layout or position should be addressed at this time. You may need to stagger the conductors by cutting them different lengths when using the multi-conductor video cable, like the BTX RGB5P. There are two types of video contacts, male and female. The ProBlox plug housed the female contacts and the ProBlox receptacle housed the male contacts. There are also two video cables that can be used, Belden 1855A and the BTX RGB5P. Be sure to choose the correct contact for the cable you are using. Both male and female contacts consist of three parts, the pin, the body, and the ferrule. Start by cutting the cable square and sliding on the ferrule. Now strip the cable based on the appropriate strip dimensions for the cable and contact you are using. Using the indent tool we will now terminate the contact to the center conductor. Take the indent tool, unscrew the cap, and make sure the positioner insert is in the correct position prior to termination. The positioner insert has a male and female side and should be placed by putting the gender you want to terminate into the indent tool. Place the pin over the center conductor, making sure it butts up against the dielectric. Then insert the pin into the indent tool until it bottoms out, then crimp. Now take the pin and insert it into the body. Make sure it goes over the dielectric and under the shield. Next, slide the ferrule over the shield. Prior to crimping the ferrule, you must make sure the pin is set at the appropriate depth. Take the required pin depth gauge and choose the correct end based on the gender of the connector. One side is female, the other for male. By holding the body of the connector, insert the contact into the hole. Make sure the pin bottoms out in the depth gauge tool and the body of the connector butts up against it. Apply light pressure so the pin and cable move to the correct position. Carefully remove and crimp the ferrule. The ferrule for the 1855A needs only one crimp. The ferrule for the BTX RGB5P needs to be crimped in two different places. Once you have completed all your coax terminations, you can snap them into the appropriate position in the ProBlox connector. If you have incorrectly placed a video contact in the wrong position, use the ProBlox extraction tool to pop it out. There is an extraction tool for male contacts and another one for female contacts. Insert the tool into the front of the ProBlox connector and firmly push. The video contact should pop right out. There are two types of audio slash control contacts, solder and crimp. Our preferred method of termination here at BTX is crimp, and that is what we are going to cover here. There is only one gender type. The position of this hermaphroditic contact when loaded into the ProBlox connector allows it to mate with itself. We will be using Belden 9451 audio cable. 
Use the strip dimensions to prep the cable. Take the audio crimp tool and slide the contact into the die where it is labeled 22 to 26 gauge, which is for a Belden 9451 audio cable. Once the contact is in the crimp tool, slide the wire into the contact until it stops, being mindful not to bend the wire. The conductor jacket will lay inside the rear of the contact and its strain relief. Now crimp to complete the termination. Place them in the correct position, based on the pin layout. Use the contact insertion tool to snap the contact into the correct position in the ProBlox connector. It's better to crimp all the audio slash control contacts before inserting them into the connector. If for some reason you need to remove the audio slash control contact from the ProBlox connector, simply use the extraction tool by inserting it into the front of the connector and pushing the plunger to release the contact. ProBlox D has the same coaxial video contacts and audio slash control contacts as our standard ProBlox connector. It does, however, house two CAT5e connectors. Whether you make them yourself or use pre-terminated CAT5e assemblies, they simply plug right into the ProBlox D connector. If you are using pre-made CAT5e assemblies, you must make sure they do not contain a boot. Notice again the two exits on the hood. The straight exit, which is out of the back of the hood, and the 90 degree side exit, which is out of the bottom of the hood. The hood exit needs to have been determined prior to termination. If you'd like to use TechFlex to organize your cables, do it before securing the hood and also before terminating the second end of your assembly. This concludes our video on ProBlox and ProBlox D termination. Thank you for watching.